having a bad day? Is stuff going wrong? Life can be unpredictable. So how can we meet challenging events? Boethius might be just the philosopher to point the way. I'll explain something of his life as it makes his message so much stronger. He was born into a wealthy Roman family around 480 AD. Boethius was a very successful scholar and politician. He became a senator in his 20s, ultimately taking the highest post in the Western government. In 522, his two sons were appointed joint consuls. This was the high point of his life. But the very next year, he was arrested by King Theodoric for treason and was exiled to Pavia. A year or so later, he was executed. One account of his death is especially gruesome, ending with him being clubbed to death. Definitely a bad day. Boethius is best known for his final work called The Consolation of Philosophy. It was written under arrest, under threat of execution. And last spring, during a low point of lockdown, I reread The Consolation. I first met Boethius as an undergraduate and it stayed with me for its rich and kindly content. So the consolation of philosophy begins with Boethius under house arrest in Pavia, lamenting his fate when he becomes aware of a woman standing over him and she is the personification of philosophy. She is awe-inspiring. She has burning eyes, she is full of years and yet bright and vigorous. It's hard to tell her size. Sometimes she seems human size and sometimes her head is touching the sky, as we can see in the image. She's wearing a robe of the finest thread and on the bottom is the Greek letter pi for practical and on the top is theta for theoretical. Initially, at this point, Boethius is bitter and despairing over his unjust punishment. The book is a dialogue between Boethius and philosophy, and it is written in prose and verse. So the first thing philosophy does is chase away the muses who are fanning his self-pity and obscuring his understanding of Plato and the Stoics. Then she starts applying remedies. And she explains that fortune is a fickle goddess who just keeps turning her wheel. There's a bit of a trend in thinking now that if someone is not very successful and perfectly happy, it's their own fault and they are losers. But there was a better appreciation in the ancient and medieval worlds of the goddess Fortuna, who was capricious and unpredictable and ultimately just had to be accepted as such. So Lady Philosophy points out to Boethius that in adverse fortune, we actually find our true friends and we see the world as it really is. So in the consolation, Lady Philosophy is leading him from misery to some very unexpected areas of understanding. So let's take a section in verse from book two about love. She says, love governs lands and seas alike. Love orders too the heavens above. Should love once slacken its tight rein and cease to order near and far, the mutual love which all things show will in a moment turn to war. She seems to be talking about love as a universal force of nature that is managing and ordering the land, the seas, the heavens, and if that love weren't there, in a moment everything would collapse into chaos and conflict. But then she goes on and says it's also visible actually in human relations. She says, such love embraces nations too. In hallowed pacts, it them combines. With chaste affections, man and wife in solemn wedlock, it entwines. Love's laws 
most trusty comrades bind. And she concludes, how happy is the human race if love by which the heavens are ruled to rule men's minds is set in place. So here she's saying love even brings nations together through their alliances, their agreements. Um, it's love that brings comrades together in human relationships. And then finally, the human race itself will be happy if love is ruling their minds. Uh, I'll just reiterate though that Boethius was under arrest and he was awaiting a brutal execution and yet he found his way to this deep understanding of universal love. In the school we try to explore and digest the heritage of philosophy both East and West and this is part of building one's inner resources. In unpredictable times good material can give us a lot of strength. And maybe like Boethius, we too find deep understanding in extreme circumstances. For Boethius, philosophy was his chief and final solace in life. I think having the mind and heart ruled by love is actually a wonderful example. And this is a great gift from Boethius to the world. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.